Hello my lovely Leo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you this week, October 17th through to 23rd, 2022. Leo, 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 how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading for Leo like yourself, Sun, Moon and Rising. We have six of pentacles here for you as well, so take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. I'm ever so grateful for you being here, every single one of you. Please subscribe and join in if don't be shy. And of course, like and comment if you feel that way. Alrighty, what's coming for you this week? High Priestess. Oh, that is coming for many signs. Five of Wands, Death Cards, Alrighty, King of Pentacles, and Two of Wands. I like that. I do like that. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. We had the Pentacles were jumping out through while we were. Um, shuffling that sometimes is a very important messages it kind of already kind of signals what it's going to be about and you know what leon it is a general reading but this is definitely something to do with money 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 and all the things that we can get for it already this is something i would like to bathe in abundance and it's not just abundance of of money it's abundance of of good relationships manifestation things are working out things are coming to you money comes to money inheritance and there is more to come it's kind of like as if you've been putting seeds down on the ground and they are spreading and growing as they are as they goes on and it kind of feels really feels so so abundant ludicrous but crazy stupendous you know, it's, it could, for some of you, you may actually are, in, some of you maybe are in inheriting money or inheriting business that is generating money, inheriting maybe status at work, maybe someone's leaving a job for whatever reason, and maybe there is a vacancy now and you are being put towards or you are have an opportunity to go for this position, right? To leveling up and there is this position, at kind of opportunity coming out, right? But Ten of Pentacles is talking about as well, family kind of unit as well, that things are working out, right? We do have as well uh, the full moon in Taurus coming November 8th, right? And it kind of feels to coming towards that period of time as well, that we want to have our bellies full. We want to have our banks full and we want this security. This security is super important, Leo. And uh, well, especially Leo, you, you, Leo, do know what money means. That is energy, but you are then, you can do whatever you want. And there is more where you come from. It is a, such a privilege. I have to say it's kind of a very privileged situation for you. It's a, you feel very privileged and be grateful for it. Okay. And of course you can say I have my free will and I do whatever I want. I'm grateful or not. But when you are grateful for the gifts that have been given to you by God, by universe, by angels, whatever, there's going to be more because you're opening the door that you are welcoming the greatness in your life. Fantastic. And you know what? It was a very interesting thing. When I look at the pentacles, right, I always kind of mention that this is called the manifestation. And it's just a living proof how one thought fed with positivity, persistence, backed with work, right? Because Knight of Pentacles are such a hard worker, step by step, can manifest. Things will work out. Things do work out in a given time, okay? And you will get what is yours. It's coming your way, okay? There you are. And this is the promise. This is the promise. We have, however, we have the High Priestess. It kind of feels that there is, it's a little bit of wind of change coming along um, in your way. And it could be regarding because of this money or because of this situation, the way you feel about your life as well. Overall, it's really, really good. And with the High Priestess, it is saying, listen to your intuition. Even though you're in this position that you feel privileged, you feel happy, everything is great. You know, sometimes when you go on holiday, uh, we kind of switch off our um, intuition or sometimes uh, our instincts. And we are oblivious what's going around. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Even though things got working out well, you still need to be in on, keep an eye on things. 
for a reason. And that's why this card comes out. Do not let your guard down. Do not let your guard down. Mind your own business as well. Do not spread um, either on social media or whatever. You do not know who is watching and their intentions. You don't know either. Okay. Do not put yourself in in position where you might regret why I were showing off my new car or new house or whatever. Just be mindful. Be mindful. Okay. With the five ones, there is. Look, throw a money in the mix with the family and you want to find out who is who, right? Win a lottery and you will find how many relatives you have. Mm -hmm. This will be interesting, right? So if some of you have win, have massive, massive income coming in, so be mindful, please. Because this will bring the worst out of people and probably yourself as well. Okay, because there is some sort of... I want to clarify this one. Let's clarify. Huh. <laughs> and the point is this, and you will probably hear this as well. If you want to lose your friends or family members, you can let them know and then let the dogs loose, right? Because they will say, did you work for this money? Is it yours? Okay. Don't become, don't be in that situation. Yes, again, here we go. It's the money, it's the money. It brings sometimes not the best out of people. So keep to yourself. And it could be some, like, sometimes people might find out that you are actually better off and not, you will be surprised who was actually on your side along the way or who wanted to say, oh, poor Leo, you, you are in this position. You are not well. And now suddenly you're blossoming. They don't want to know you because they can't manipulate you. Okay, they can't influence you, and it kind of brings kind of maybe some soul contract to my end. And with the death card as well, is saying like you might actually I can see that someone's dying hair, someone's changing the appearance as well. Life goes on, and look, the sunrise is coming out, and you are not stopping, you are moving. We have two, two moving cards here, yes. So, there is probably possible that you may be either thinking or planning or actually buying a new home or renting different place and moving and including the job as well and there are certain changes that are coming along with it and this card it's a for peace you're coming actually better off so don't be scared of the death card because you are actually coming out of that darkness you're probably coming out of uh, maybe time when you have struggled and that period is ending. And look how beautiful. Look, I want to really show you that. You're coming out on the horse. You're coming on the high. And sometimes in a period you might not feel that way. Especially if you lost some certain people that you thought that they were on your side. Maybe you were moving place and you know, a uh, place to live or residency or um, a job or whatever. And there could be some sort of sacrifice for that. But you're moving on. You are not sitting still. You are... And this is what I really like to see. You're very careful here. And this is, if you're not, it is kind of advise you. Make sure you're, you pay taxes because this is accountant card. <laughs> take, your, take your money seriously, okay? Do not rush into spending the everything at the same, but one go. And I know you have free will. That's, that's your account. You can do whatever you want to do. There's so much about money, money, money. And sometimes the money can be, um, it's a great change. But keep in mind, so it doesn't bring the worst out of you. Keep something for longevity. Keep some savings. Keep some something that is kind of growing further, right? Now we have the two of wands. And it kind of feels, look, the two of wands looking back at the Knight of Pentacles, saying, okay, so where do you want me to go? It's kind of like a change of what shall we do? What There could be some of you maybe actually leaving job or and starting maybe your own business. Okay, and that might take time. Do not expect that it's going to turn overnight. It may be. It could be some, some sort of video or whatever you're putting out regarding your product or whatever you're doing. It could take viral and you never know. You might be thinking of partnering up with someone so you can actually uh, expand and grow bigger. And it's kind of looking back at the Knight of Pentacles, making sure that he's doing by the book. It's very important that you do everything by the law, by the book, by the ta so that everything is perfect. Because sometimes High Priestess is talking about audit. It's something that secrets, secrets to be revealed. And if this is something regarding money, 
keep that place in mind leo what a what a privileged uh, place to be what a great place to be indeed let's have a look what else we have for you if this resonates please press the like button of course prosperity lies ahead hey hey new moon in taurus we do have however ever said we have the full moon in taurus so taurus is coming through money is coming through the green color and the heart chakra right so make sure you have your heart chakra clean and cleared your conscience is clean and clear as well and that's the death card is talking about the high priest is talking about as well and prosperity there's more to come and more to come meditate and contemplate new moon we do have a there's a new moon in pisces but we do have a new moon in scorpio as well so maybe come to the uh new moon period in october it's maybe it needs some balancing as well maybe you have quite overwhelmed with what just happened and great thing is happening um just make sure that you have the balance as well work-life balance okay there we go reconsider there is some sort of how oh, interestingly um we have the sword here it is kind of your mind you might need to think of and take pay your due diligence research proper what you want to do how you want to maybe invest your money recovery it is something maybe in your life where you will need to cleanse yourself maybe the past has been quite quite uh, dramatic or traumatic for you and you want to kind of wash that all the way and if you believe it will test your belief system your consciousness mm -hmm. and you believe it as well it could be that something you want to go for and if you believe that this dream is worth pursuing maybe that's some sort of dream that you long time wanted no speed limit oh boy oh boy leo on no speed limit and parking here we go having joy when was the last time you had a good laugh and recovery this is something that you need to think of as well because we had as well meditate and contemplate have that balance of spending money and enjoying the period enjoying the life in now even though you're going fast forward with dreams and plans and everything have like time as well okay you will not regret that it will really charge you in positive way all right leos fantastic week anyways thanks so much for being here and i'll see you in the next video Ta -da.